today um, we're going to have a look at Techno EJ5. Um, this was the last of the Techno EJs, um, the Virtual Music Studio. Um, yeah, th this was the sort of end of line for most of it, like the dance EJs, um, hip hop EJs, um, now Techno EJs. So this was the Virtual Music Studio was the last one. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the Virtual Music Studio, to be honest with you. It was just a little bit more complicated to use. It's just not as simple to use as the original Dance EJs. Um, so I'm not a big fan of them. So let's have a look at um, what we got in the main menu here. There's something else you didn't get. So you just went into it and start making your mixes. Um, help and tutorials, obviously quick learn about Techno EJ5, maybe best to have a look at that. Song Arranger, um, obviously that takes you into the Song Arranger so you can start arranging your mix. File Manager, we can load, save and all that stuff. You can even burn your own CDs. Um, Config and Options, you can change the way it looks or certain things like that. Tailor Techno EJ5 to your to suit you. Webly, WWEJ, I don't even know if that exists anymore. And we can turn to desktop. Um, so, first things first, let's go into the Song Arranger. So, here we are. So, we're in the Song Arranger. So, this is your where you make your mix. Um, so, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the bottom first. Um, so, here, if you bring up a sample, let's, let's um, open up the sample and just take a sample if you double click on it it yeah, starts to play so let's let's um, have a look drag us all you do is just drag a sample out um so yeah, just drag a couple out of just to make it what we're going to do a little bit better hopefully right so as we say we'll have a look down the bottom here so let's just click off that so this is your arranger let's have a look at this first this is your this is obviously that's your arranger this is where you get all your samples from so we've got a fair few so as I say you double click you play it it starts to play and you've got quite a long list of different samples here so here we have more different genres if you go down like that you see a hell of a lot of different genres of samples so techno electro junk DMB, so you get the bass lines, drum loops, bass lead lines and pad loops, all different sorts of things there. Break beat, the same and all. So all vocals, all sound effects, and all percussion loops and hi hats. So lots of different samples there. So let's just click off that. Um, so here we have the BPM, so you can choose your BPM to whatever you ever want. You can have as low as 40 and high as 600. I don't know why you would want it as 600, because that would just be ridiculous. And the default is 140. Um, 20 swing, I just don't know what this is. Um, I'm not even going to find it, because it's something that, to me, it's not important into the EJs. Um, it's never, it never started, to, we never had that to begin with. And there was a lot of EJs that we never had that. I'd, other perhaps the more enthusiastic and more professional um, um, music maker or composer would know what that is. To me, it's not an important thing. Um, well, I don't know nothing about music anyway. That's why I like the EJs because it's it was done f so simply s for people novices to use and understand music a bit better. And that's why I was a big fan of the EJs, but not so much of this um, virtual music. Thingy. Um, so here we have the play, stop, um, start, go to the start of the mix, rewind, loop, fast forward and that will take you to the end of the mix. Um, here is your volume control, so you can go right down and go as high as 100. Um, and the zoom, this is important, this is good actually because you can zoom right out and see basically everything, well not everything because you can only see 38 tracks and you can zoom right in for good editing so let's go out and let's go about 130 and let's go down as you can see we have 99 tracks to play with which is a hell of a lot of tracks to play with actually 
Um, remember the first dance EJ, you only had eight tracks to play with. So the amount of tracks we get now, well, has moved on quite a lot. So it's good. So here we have. We'll go into this a little bit more later because these are taking you into different things. Um, so basically we've got our sample here. So what we're going to do, this is pan performance curve. Before I show you that, we'll show you what these are. This is pan, so basically this sets stereo position of the sound. So if you move that over there, it would be more left. If you take it there, it will come out more the right. So you can centralise it and just have a little bit more to the left. Not that far, you can play around with the stereo um, way what sample comes out of what speaker more or less that's a good touch so here we have our volume control of each track so you can make the sample or the track higher lower how you want it really which is good um, here I'll just go back down here so this is the pan performance curve as I said so if we click on that so we click on a sample as we can see let's zoom in let's zoom in so we can see a bit better so what I'm doing here is creating a thing there so what that do when you play so that will come out because um, I panned it so you can pan it down a bit more so when you play it I'll come out the right and go into the left or the other way around <laughs> um, so that's that. So if we move this sample, oh, I'll leave it as it is. Just, here we have a volume um, volume performance curve. So what this does, if you do that, start drawing on it, it will make the volume go up, down, and up. So that if we play it, yeah. So that's basically what you do: make the volume go up, down, and up it was however you want it really so we've showed you the arranger so let's um with this so let's go copy sound clips so if you click on that and i guess oh, hang on see this is annoying this thing here because you can't oh yes you can right if we go around there copy sound clips um it's supposed to copy but or if you do that when a button is lit and you can copy the area or sell in the track the sound clips that area will be copied right okay so all oh, right I see you. yeah ah okay that's good okay so this click out of that this is copy pan curves so obviously it'll do the same thing if you've got um, if you set it with these you do the same thing you copy them and obviously with the volume control curves you copy them as well so basically these are all your copying tools so you click them again should go out of it but it ain't um, so this is your mute button so if you want to mute a lot you can so let's zoom out of this a bit so we can show you a bit more um, so I've covered down here, so this cover more at the top, covered them. So this is your VU meter, so when you play you get your um, left and right um, meters coming up. And CPU usage. So these take you back to what you get in the main menu itself, so that'll take you back to the main menu. That'll take your file manager, CD burner, web link, config and options and helping tutorials um, here this is a undo last action if you pick that obviously the last thing I did was zoom so and you can also redo it if you want to if you thought that was a good idea um, you know what I mean um, so that's your your buttons there so here you minimize that will quit the program um, so down here which we haven't covered yet um, so this is your sample studio so what this does this button will take you to the sample studio where you can sample record your own sounds from a CD microphone and other input so basically this 
you can record from, as I said, a CD, or if you've got a microphone, you want to record your voice, and obviously from a line input means like if you want to attach, um, I don't know, a game console or uh, something with a line input, do you want to take a sample from, maybe an MP3 player, um, whatever, whatever with a line sample, you can do a sample of that and um, play around with the settings here to make um, the sounds, make it different from the original, which is a good touch. Like you can see here, you can got volume and mono stereo sampler, all sorts of different buttons here to make it to perfect your mix basically. So we click out of that. Here, master effects. All music you create will pass through the master effects selection. Click here to set these effects. So basically, it's like a graphics equalizer sort of thing. So you can. What's this? So you can create the sounds you want it, I guess. Um, never used it, don't see the point of it. Why would you want to do that? Um, you can alter that on your own sound card. So if really this is not really, a, no really point. But I suppose it's there if you want it. Um, so we can click off that. And this, sound clip editor. Click here, opens the sound clip editor. If you click on a sound clip in the track, screen you can edit it if you want to click on the blank cell right so basically you click on that and we push if you want to just take the sample for argument's sake can you no you can't um that's what i thought you could um can you There is a way of playing it, but all right, push the play key. No, that just plays your mix. What you've done, metronome. So, this is your metronome, but push a swing. But oh, if you push pattern, there you go. So, clicking on these, you can alter the sound. So yeah, you can play around with that, and you can push the thing, if you can work the notes, yes. And you can start from new by um, somehow clicking, if you, I suppose you click from there, no you can't. Oh, you can set it as a preset, I guess. Because I raised it. And you can put that by song and you can play it together. But there's no samples here, you can... Right, because there's nothing in there, can you just matter of dragging it? Right. Ah, right, so it's already pre-selected, so you can just click on these. Ah, I get it. So each of the colour represents a different um, note, or not a note. A different beat then you can create your own drum okay that's good so we we'll click out of that so there you go so let's have a look in the folder this is your file manager so you can you got your demo songs here if you want to call up a demo song if you can it's a bit it's not very sensitive this so you get all different songs here. So if we call up tutorial, so if you want to go back to your mix, you just click on that, and that that's your song loaded up. Then, so then you can play it. Yeah. So basically, that's Techno EJ. But advise you to, if you want to use it, look at the helps and tutorials because there's things you do have to learn. Like how to drag in samples and stuff like that. Um, but as I say, I'm not a big fan of the Virtual Music, music Studio um, software. I just find it not it is not as complicated as a lot of software. But I just prefer the original 
dark like the normal EJs where you, it was just so simple all your icons were at the side it was just a lot easier to use um, so this how the thing is if I wanted to click a new wanted to start a new um, mix from scratch there is no way you can do it there's no new button there's no buttons here telling you how to do it it's nothing if you even go in the file manager load save and it's nothing no new if you want to create a new sample um so I, what about the, no i don't wish to delete anything so to me i don't know I, i'm not a big fan of it so what do we have here sample palette and obviously if you can load from load sound clip ah oh so you can have a look at the samples from here if you want um, 29 I don't know this is just I just find it a bit of a mess to use to be honest with you I'm not as I say I'm not a fan of it anyway I'm going to end it now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye